Hello Scorpio Sagittarius, thank you so much for coming to my channel, thank you for all the likes, subscribes, and comments, thank you so much, I appreciate each and every one of you. So feel free to vice versa the cards where it would apply to you, so if I'm talking about the cards of queen and you feel like it's a king, then just vice versa that energy. So I read the cards, you decide if they apply to you. Welcome cross watchers. So let's get started. Scorpio Sagittarius. The first one is fall. The quiet joy of transformation. Transition. So I do feel like in the fall you're going to be happy. Um, your sacral chakra is going to be very happy. Like you're going to be growing a lot in that area. You can Google that to see what that pertains to. You're going to be really happy about something. Happiness is coming into you. I feel like you have somebody watching you who's very protective over you, who's really strong around you. And they like that you're happy. They kind of are strong and you're happy. So number four is knowing. So this talks about in the book that this is the pyramid behind her and this is bringing past life knowledge into this life. So then you have running, number 12. So 12 talks about, look at how the line kind of goes through there. Wow, I see it anyway. Now the light, and then the other light goes out. So you're running around, you have a lot of bright ideas, um, many new beginnings in your thoughts, and you're wanting to action and do stuff in your life, but you almost are like hurrying and going around circles because you have so many ideas and so much um, things you want to do. So switching to the Mystical Cats Tarot deck, your first card is the sun. Beautiful, this is the most positive card. In the deck, you have it, your first tarot card. These are oracle. So beautiful. So the next one is Eight of Sky. So Eight of Sky talks about somebody feeling trapped. Somebody feels stuck in their own mindset, their own thinking. Um, they can't get out of a situation or a thought. And then the Empress. So the Empress could be Aries placement. This is somebody who could be a boss, a CEO. This could be... Um, usually a father figure. So maybe somebody feels stuck, you're moving towards happiness, and they have some sort of father um, situation to a fire. So I feel like somebody's trying to make a decision. Somebody is trying to make a decision I'm picking up about being with you and leaving a family situation, leaving their child to be with you. So they're kind of torn over that, I feel. But you make them very happy and they want to be with you. Next one is Nine of Skies. So somebody is really stretched out and um, struggling at night, can't sleep over you um, being so happy. So Grace. So Grace talks about um, talking kind to oneself, talking, um, nurturing yourself when you get yourself in a hard time, like treating yourself like you were um, a little child and getting yourself through a difficult situation. So I feel like somebody um, isn't kind to themselves. They don't nurture themselves. Somebody around you, wow, five of sky. So there's a lot of conflict around this um, father figure energy, I feel, whether they bring it to around you or not, I'm not sure yet. And then eight of earth. So yeah, I feel like this person feels really um, like they have to work a lot because they have a lot of children. I feel like this person um, yeah, has a lot of, their path just is going forward with these children following them, if that makes sense. So the next one is, um, Three of Fire. So Three of Fire is somebody asking the universe why things are happening the way they are. And wheel, the wheel. So things are changing. You're moving into a more peaceful cycle, I feel, Scorpio Sagittarius. Things are shifting, and the universe knows it, and you're asking what's going on. Two of Sky. So Two of Sky talks to me about um, maybe it's a family member who's coming at you wanting you to defend yourself, like you're doing something outside the family structure, and they don't like that. They're like, you need to come back in the family circle and quit being selfish and doing what you want to do. But I feel like... That's what you're meant to do. This is a healing energy here. I feel like this is something um, that you carried around many years and you're leaving it behind when you move into a new cycle. So the floating cat. So there's some sort of delay um, around moving into that energy. So I'm not sure why there is the delay. 
why is there a delay around? Let me see what. So I'm going to say because other people are holding you back. Yeah, there's some toxic energy around you. Other people are trying to hold you back. Be aware of that. I just looked through the other, the rest of the Mystical Cats cards real fast. So now I'm switching to the Chakra Wisdom deck. And you have... Ten of Swords. So there was a betrayal. Somebody did a overkill. Five of Coins. Somebody got ghosted or blocked. Princess of Cups. Somebody wants to offer an apology. Somebody younger than you. Empress. So this is an Empress. So there might be a couple people wanting. Somebody may want to offer you an apology. And you may want to offer yourself an apology. So I don't know if you felt like you handled something not so good. And you're kind of on yourself about it. And King of Wands. So King of Wands is somebody who's very attractive. Very handsome. This is somebody who can be very... Um, strong in a relationship, jack of all trades is how I feel with the king of wands. He can fix the car, mow the lawn, fix dinner, put the kids to bed after a bath, and let the wife read a book. Also, in, um, there's two meanings to most cards. Let's see what the next card is, the hanged woman. So there's a delay around the king of wands moving forward for some reason. And the reason is the hermit. So there's some sort of clarity he's either waiting on or he sees. Something that um, is going to be clear to him that he's waiting on. And Queen of Swords. So th we have a lot of energies in here. A lot of female energies. I don't know what you male Scorpio Sagittarius has got going on. And as the females you could vice versa to male energies for you. But there's a lot of people causing a lot of conflict around you. It seems like a lot of people wanting to be with you and your energy. You're focusing on work and a lot of people don't like that. Somebody um, is self-sabotaging. They don't like it that you put a lot of energy into work, which is weird. But I know a lot of, um, sometimes when you're in relationships, I have two sons, and some females don't like the men to go to work. They wish they could make money and stay home all day. So I don't know if that's what's going on here in this situation. Or some female just doesn't want to be alone and... There's a lot of conflict with the work where she doesn't like to be alone. So blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. So I do feel like somebody's blaming you for some sort of situation that's not really your blame. Abundance. I am a limitless being and can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. So I do feel like you are getting ready to go towards something. Clarity is coming into you. And I'm learning that endings are merely beginning. So I do feel like you may end something because somebody um, has you running in circles. They can't seem to um, get their thoughts together, get their boundaries together, get their self together. And it, then other people are coming in. I'm feeling like um, defending this person to you, expecting you to just accept what they're doing and move on like nothing happened. So then it makes it worse when other people interfere. In a love relationship that's having struggles. So thoughts. There's a lot of pure thoughts in your thinking. You're thinking of what makes you happy. What makes you want to move forward. Um, you thought long and hard about an ending and moving forward. I'm getting chills. Confirmation. You really did about going um, away from this and towards something else. It wasn't easy. So fear. Wow. You have a lot of fear that you can't accomplish what you want to. Um, and you're not going to let it hold you back, though. You're going to conquer that fear. So expression. So this talks about you having um, the courage now to express your feelings and what your desires are and your wishes and dreams. And you don't care if people want to judge you. You're being very open and honest with everything around you. Because of what you just went through, it's opened you up to a whole new realm of abundance and honesty and stuff like that. So the next one is Guardian Angel, You Are Not Alone. So this is my um, Heaven card. Somebody in Heaven is supporting you. This is them telling you that they're around you. They're supporting you. They're with you. When you think of them. Wow, great teacher. Learn from spiritual experiences. Wow, so some of you may have a really strong connection with somebody in Heaven, is what that tells me. Um... You can get dreams from them. If you see a white feather in real life, they're saying that it is your loved one in heaven. It's also a peace thing. Them telling you to be peaceful and calm in your life. They're with you and everything's going to be fine. For those of you who may have needed to hear that. So you're either 
I feel like a lot of you are going into abundance and you're going to be teaching people some sort of peaceful um, energy, maybe around the heaven realm, if that makes sense. So thank you so much. Bless you, Scorpio Sagittarius.